The Knox County Jail has been overcrowded for many years. But that will soon change. Construction is almost complete on the addition to the facility. It adds more than 100 beds. Jen Thompson takes us there. I'm here outside the Knox County Sheriff's Office where Sheriff Doug Vantlin says he believes they're just a few weeks away from being able to move inmates over to the new construction pods. And he gave me a firsthand look. Let's go see. It's the main part of the jail where the beds are, the, uh, the pods and the shell, the, the empty shell that we've got. Uh, th those are being finished now. Uh, actually, uh, they're putting paint on this week. The new addition will add 108 beds in pods plus an additional shell to allow the potential to add more beds if needed down the road. Right off the bat, we're going to take 40 of those 108 beds. At completion, Sheriff Doug Vantlin says the Knox County Jail will be able to hold around 340 inmates. We will have to add some additional jailers as time goes on. Now, the county council last year did give us four additional jail officers after the first year, and we're in the process of getting those positions filled now. So, yes, four, and then as uh, the bed space gets taken up with more more inmates, we will have to add more jail officers on. Sheriff Vantlin says they've got a list to go through once things are completed. So we'll go through everything, security system, alarms, uh, the locks, uh, video, make sure all of it's uh, working like it's supposed to be working and uh, we'll mark it off if it is. If it's not, we won't mark it off, then they gotta come back and fix it. Once everything checks out, they'll move one pot at a time. Noble Parish is the jail commander. He says this will give them the opportunity to work work on maintenance of the old areas. As soon as it's done, we can work on upkeep and maintenance on our existing painting, plumbing, cleaning. Vantlin says he expects the jail construction to wrap up soon. So I had a meeting with him today and we're looking within uh, two weeks, about the middle or third week of January. The end's in sight now. I'm ready to have it done, get the facility fully operational and get comfortable in our new surroundings. And Sheriff Vantlin says they will once again open the facility up to the community so they'll be able to come in, have a look at what these taxpayer dollars went to before moving those inmates in, and we'll be sure to keep you updated on those dates as they become available. Reporting in Knox County, I'm Jen Thompson.